So I had a question right a few days ago to really understand what really moves and what influences Nasdaq. And of course, going into the very understanding of what is Nasdaq, what moves it, I began to understand that of course Nasdaq is a weight capital index, meaning that it has top 100 performing companies or technological companies. And of course, these companies, for them to grow, it requires investors, it requires a large amount of funds for them to grow quarterly or daily. And with that, it's add up to the movement right of NASDAQ and its volatility day in and day out. Hence, you and I get to trade it. And of course, it became or that it became the very foundation and the basis of my question, what influences the market structure of NASDAQ? And of course, with that question, I began to come across this understanding. Because there's so much money pumped in by investors, we get to have, if you watch the previous video that I did about NASDAQ fundamentals, we get to have what we call the EPS, the earnings per share, that reflects how much shares were bought of those very companies under NASDAQ. And with that conclusion, I began to come across this idea, right? That because of this large amounts of funds getting in, it adds up to the structure and the momentum of the market where there is liquidity because Nasdaq is all about liquidity and movement and of course was the style of trading I was able to come across a mind-blowing piece of information that I will be sharing right now with you and of course that is order blocks so the order block theory concludes or submits to us that this is an area in the market where we see large financial institutions and banks taking their trades or collecting liquidity from to move the market. And with that, I began to come across the conclusion that we can use that to actually really understand where the market is going and moving in the whole structure because it really much controls the whole structure. And I wanna show you that on the market and I wanna also show you on how to identify it and how to trade it family now i want to show you how to identify a bullish order block and a bearish order block and they appear in many other places in the market i want to be showing you to the two place on this h1 nasdaq chart and of course an order block is when the market um, essentially goes all the way, trends all the way down, and of course, induces a lot of traders, right, to think that it's gonna be actually continue to create lower lows, but in fact, it actually starts buying, okay? And of course, the last candle that induces a lot of traders, that's the candle right there. So we can see it right here at the bottom, this candle, that's what we wanna take, and we wanna draw this other block all around. As we have established that an other block, that's where they actually take a lot of orders. So within here, they were making a lot of people realize to, uh, to think as if the market is still gonna be trending down to trick a lot of them, and they take their sell orders to create that liquidity that we see right now. And of course, as we can see this other block, and how do you actually identify that candle as the market goes up of course as the market goes um, in a bullish trend you need to pull back to it and as you can see once it touches the other block it has no choice but to start trending all the way up so we can see here in this one let me just do this we can see that once the market started to touch the other block right here look at that the market started trending all the way up of course how would you put your stop loss Okay, just put it slightly. Okay, there we go. And the market started trending all the way. And you can put essentially your stop loss at the next structure. It will just help you to navigate what influences the market. Because as we understand, there's a lot of large funds pumped in in these companies that are in the Nasdaq index. And due to that, we are able to conclude and match those points together and understand that through the order block, we're able to understand that whenever we're in a bullish market, we need to wait for the market to take liquidity. Once it has taken liquidity, it will come back and give us to ride in that liquidity. And as you can see, this was almost a one is to nine ratio. And of course, the other points that we can identify this order block. For example, right here, as the market induced uh, other traders to say, well, we're going to be buying. And as we can see it, we can create that order block right there. 
And of course, what happened, the market pushed all the way up, came back to it and rallied all the way up with a lot of injection of momentum as you can see it. So through that, we are able to get those buys that we need. Now let's go to find sell order blocks, okay? We can just go all over the market. I'm just gonna look for a very simple one uh, where the market induces buyers, induces um, uh, buyers and sellers at the same time to see exactly where the market is gonna be going. And we can use this highest point right here. As you can see this candle, as the market was pushing all the way up, inducing a lot of traders right tricking them to say well the market is going to be going to create the higher high but what, but what happened the market tanked all the way of course as we highlight this order block and we can throw it all across through this chart we can definitely see let me just cover the whole candle we can definitely see that as this order block was created the market rallied all the way down pulled back to it and as it pulled back to it we can see the market selling all the way like a hot cake okay dropping like hot potato look at that and of course as we can see another time it still came back to this and dropped all the way now we can still use other order blocks in, within this market for example as the market here began to treat a lot of uh, buyers to say we're buying but it was not creating any why we can take that order block again that's an order block we can take it market on the market and as we can see it sold came back to it and the market dropped all the way down with a lot of momentum as we can see this was the move that facilitated or this was this order block that facilitated this whole sell till this order block so we can see that order blocks introduce trends introduces or rather it influences the market to move within a certain direction i hope you understand it comment down below on what you think about order blocks i will do another episode just talking about them and breaking them down make sure to join our live sessions where we trade those other blocks and we catch big moves in the market thank you so much family for watching till this point and of course what you ought to do to make sure that you catch the same moves as i showed you and how to understand even other blocks more is to put it into back testing go onto the market look for when the market was creating a highs uh, any time frame that you wish to use right the age one preferably it's good as you're starting up look for highs in the market the candle that induces a lot of traders to think that they're now going to be in a buying market throw that across the chart and you see the market just touching spiking into it slightly and it drops all the way with big moves that tells you that a lot of investors were coming into that area we're creating that area so to make sure that they move the market the way they want to move it and of course this is applies on any market but i just wanted to concentrate on the nasdaq market so do me a favor guys back test so that you make sure you nurture the skill because the only difference between knowledge and skill is that skill is applied and knowledge is only learned thank you so so much for watching family please do kindly subscribe like and also share this with your friends and family signing out